Hello and welcome to the second in a series of tutorials for XFX messages, now with added object tracking. And that's what we did in the first tutorial. And if you forget how to track anything, all you need to do is click on the instructions and it'll show you how to do it. But it should be really easy to do and easy to pick up. Now let's go on to the other controls in the inspector. And if I hit play, you can see we've got the track already done from the previous tutorial. I can, of course, pick this message up and move it around. I can resize it as much as I like. And also, of course, I can go in and say whatever text I like in the text message. So let's make that a bit bigger. Um, let's adjust the color this time and let's say green. But you can see here, this message is far too big for the word. And what we have on here, we have a message width control. Now you see that jumping around? If you hold down the option or Alt key, it actually gears it down and you can get the perfect size. And we can actually make that a bit bigger, should we wish, and put that over here. That's looking good. OK, now we've also got the same thing going for the height. You can actually push that up, which means if you put more text in here, you can actually say, um, hello world. Let's move the exclamation mark. And then we've got the height, we can adjust that. OK, that's looking good. Um, we've also got things like we can take the message anchor off. And what that does is actually moves that little curly bracket in there. Um, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. And we've got corner roundness. You can go for a complete Microsoft feel if you wish. And we've got all the colour presets already loaded in there. Or you can use your own colour choice for the colours on there and also for the text. Now, what we're missing, we took it off in the previous tutorial. We're going to put it back on now, and that's the avatar. There you go. We're going to have to add an image. So let's go and find a good image. So we'll go to our browser, click on the avatar, and I've already got this lady selected. Apply clip, and we'll close that back up again. That looks good, but I can resize this. I don't like this highlight here. It's a bit distracting. So I can actually zoom and I can move her around there. There you go. And that's how the advanced controls in XFX messages work. Very customizable, lots of colors, lots of shapes. You can use as much text as you like. You can actually make this like really quite large and get a lot of text in should you wish. And of course, as we've tracked it, it's still attached to that mobile phone. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at building a conversation with two people and the message scrolling up the screen automatically.